Huntington Beach, Surf City, USA, the home of Brett Simpson. Brett Simpson is the first local ever to win the U.S. Open in 2009 at the famous Huntington Beach Pier in California. His name will be written among the incomparable list of world champs, legends, and pioneers of surfing. We will see what it takes for the 24-year-old Simpo to be a champ in Surf City, USA. It's definitely still a bit surreal to me. You know, it's not something that I really thought at the time that was capable of, and it's really given me a lot of confidence. And but uh, the final day with with the crowd and all my family and friends, it was so special. You I couldn't ask for a better place for it to happen. You know. But surfing wasn't his father Bill's first choice as a career for Brett. As a former NFL player, he was more into the traditional American sports. You know, I'd have baseball practice and I would be kind of pushing it to the side, like just begging to go surfing. And uh, you know, he's a, he's a pretty cutthroat person. And um, there was times where we, we had gotten into it. You know, he, he's going, what are, you, like, what are you doing with your career? You know, we've got, we've got colleges already like wanting you to, you know, you're going to high school that want you to play for them, this and that. And to me, like, my heart just wasn't into it. Like, surfing was what I wanted to do. I, the, I like the lifestyle, the, the nature of it, the people I was, people I was hanging out with. Um, I think he really respects it now, you know. Growing up here has been amazing because there's been so many opportunities with competition and there's you know three or four NSSAs through the year so my whole amateur upbringing was pretty much Huntington Beach and it's been an amazing place to grow up you know it's the epicenter and it's really created who I am and really given me my name for, for as of now you know. Free surfing, that's kind of where I've, you know, learned my bag of tricks. You know, that's where you, that's where I feel like I sharpen my tools. And then if I could bring those elements into competition, it's just going to benefit and, you know, up the level in our game. I've always been a competitive person. The feeling of winning, to me, it's so much more rewarding than, than going on a surf photo trip and you get a photo, but it doesn't really, I mean, the photo only lasts for a month. If that, so I'm not disrespecting those guys in any way. It's an awesome career, and you get to surf amazing waves. That's just who I am right now. I wanna, I wanna compete, and I wanna be, I wanna be at the top. Choose. Listen up. I told you what you got to lose. When I'm home, it's kind of more vacation, but I do use it definitely to, to revamp and get, uh, get back in the gym and start getting ready for whatever I'm doing next, you know? If it's like a smaller wave, you know, we try to do quick uh, agility stuff. If it's more a solid wave, we do a little more weighted strength on kind of stuff. So um, there's never really a dull moment. With the WQS Tour, he has a tough schedule of travel through the year, so what does he like about surfing? Just the lifestyle, waking up every morning and, and uh, just grabbing a, getting a coffee and going to check the surf when there's, you know, they don't have to worry about competition, just go surf and, you know, if the waves are good, there's, there's those moments where you're like, you're just thinking about nothing. Like, you could just clear your mind and uh, just surf with your your best friends and I think that's that's the times where you realize it is my job but at the same time this is it's an amazing amazing art form you know it's, a, it's an awesome thing that I have and um, there's nothing I couldn't really ask for anything better like they say about the American dream anything is possible Brett's storyline definitely will lead him on a path from HB Surf City to take over the world and we wish him luck